Alright, today we are going to work on reading and writing decimals to the thousandths place. Um, and reading decimals and writing decimals is a little different than whole numbers. So if you're looking to master whole numbers first, I would highly suggest that. So before you move on to decimals, make sure you have reading and writing whole numbers down. And if you need a little help on that, I have a few videos. I will post the links below in the description. And then you can come back to decimals. If you're ready for decimals, you are in the right spot. Um, and as you can see, similar to the whole number videos, I have a place value chart up here. Um, and we're going to use that to help us start here. And we are going to be discussing the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. So three places to the right of the decimal. Now decimals can go on forever, so there are an infinite number of places, but we're just going to go to the thousandths um, here in this video and the following videos. Much like the whole number videos, I will be going, I will be doing a part one, which this is part one, a part two, so part one and part two are instructional videos, and then I will follow it up with a practice video where you can practice some on your own and check with my answers to see if you've mastered the skill, okay? I have a hint to the right over here that's gonna help us out today. It might not make sense when I first read it, but as we go through, hopefully it starts making a little more sense and starting to click. At first, you might be like, what the heck is going on? But trust me, by the end of, it, end of this video, you will be much better at this. First name as is, last name where it ends. So we'll start with number one to show that. We have a 0 0.7, but we don't want to say 0 0.7. That's not how you read a decimal. We're going to do word form for all of these. Okay, so we're going to write it out how you would properly say it. I'll put it up here on the chart for the first one. We have 0 decimal 7. Now, do we have any whole numbers here to the left of the decimal? No, it's a zero, so we don't need to worry about it in word form. We're just going to read the decimal portion. So first name as is, and that is a seven. So just say seven, and then last name where it ends, and it ends in the tenths. So seven tenths, and that's it. That's how you would say that one. Seven tenths. If you want to watch me do these instructional practice videos, you can. Or if you want to write these on paper along with me, I think that would even be more helpful if you write with me, work with me here. But it's up to you. Number two, let's look at this one. We have zero holes, so we don't need to worry about including that in our word form. First name, as is. And we should all know that's 60... Seven. All right, we need a last name. So where does it end? One place over tenths, two place over hundredths. It ends in the hundredths place. So you would say 67 hundredths. And I forgot to mention something very important. Notice, when you are to the right of the decimal, I'm up top in this place value chart right now, all of these end in THS. It's not tens, it's tenths. Not hundreds, hundredths, and not thousands, it's thousandths. The THS shows us we are to the right of the decimal. So make sure you have the THS when you're working with decimals. All right, let's look at number three. Read as is. Think of it in your head. All right, you should have thought of 900... Two. And I'm going to go beneath here for the last name. So first name as is, 902. And where does it end? Tenths, hundredths, ooh, it ends in the thousandths. So 902 thousandths. There you go. All right, let's check number four. Read as is. We don't have any holes. And that's a weird number because we have a bunch of zeros in front, but all that is is a one. You would just read that one. First name as is, one. And where does it end? Tenths, hundredths, 
thousandths. One thousandths. And you would be done with that one. Notice one, two, three, and four all have zero holes. Okay, so we were just writing the decimals as is. On this right side, over here, all of these have whole numbers in front. So there's a very important word I'm going to write here in the middle and circle it. And the word is AND. And we have to remember AND in all of these. And you'll see what AND represents in word form. So when we have a whole number, we read the whole number just like we read whole numbers. So we have 1. That does not have a last name. A whole 1 doesn't have a last name. It's just 1. Now, when you see this decimal, you put the word AND. So 1 AND. All right, we got to remember our rule for the decimal portion here. Read as is 2. Now, you wouldn't say 1 AND 2. That's not a number, right? So you got to think last name for this decimal right here. Where does it end? Well, it ends in the tenths. So you would say 1 and 2 tenths. You're done. And let's double check here. 1 and 2 tenths. I have a lot of arrows going on. That's messy, but hopefully we got that down. So number 6. Read the whole number first. Do it in sections. All right, that's a 15. So write your 15. Or maybe you're making me do all the work and just watching me. That's fine. Eventually, you'll be writing them. So we have 15. And then what I'd say the word is for that decimal? Yep, and. All right. Our decimal portion now read as is. That's an 8. And what's its last name going to be? Where does it end? Tenths, hundredths. So 15 and 8 hundreds, right? Hopefully you caught that. Not hundreds, hundredths. THS. Remember, when you're decimal, THS. All right, let's try number seven here. Nine holes, so nine. And read as is. 60, 1, and what would its last name be? Think, where does it end? Tenths, hundredths, hopefully you said thousandths. Squeeze that in there, good. 9 and 61 thousandths. All right, and let's look at the last one. Whole number, 1, Hundred, not one hundredths. This is a whole number, so one hundred. I don't need hundreds there. One hundred. What word do I put for the decimal? And. All right, let's look at to the right of the decimal. Read it as is. Eight. I almost put a G there. That's supposed to be an I. Eight first la first name, and then where does it end? It ends in the tenths. So 100 and 8 tenths. There you go. So remember, put the word and in when you have a whole number and a decimal to represent that decimal in there. Like let's look at number 5. 1 is the whole number part and we separate the whole number part with the decimal with the word and. And then we have the decimal part, 2 tenths. Okay? So if you're new to this, Hopefully that's a good start. If this is review for you, hopefully that refreshes your memory on a few things and you're good to go. Um, so you make a choice now. If you're pretty confident, you should probably try the practice video where you go on your own and see if you've mastered the concept. Um, and I'll put these videos in the description. Or if you need a little practice, a little more practice or instruction with me, check out part two and we'll go through like eight more. I think I have eight on there, so we'll do eight more. And then you can try the practice where you go on your own. All right, see you in the next video.